There is a huge miscommunication nowadays when it comes to being offended by jokes. There are a lot of people who are very easily offended by humor, uh, whether it be a professional comedian talking on a stage or even if it's just their friend who makes a joke about something that they are sensitive about, something which is a sensitive subject. Uh, and on the other hand, you have the people who are saying the jokes who don't really understand where the people getting offended are coming from. Uh, sometimes I even hear comedians like being very resentful towards people who are offended by jokes. So today I'm going to explain why people on a psychological level are offended by jokes in the first place and maybe we'll talk also a little bit of how a person can get to a point that they'll hear jokes even about sensitive subjects and it really will not trigger them. There's two reasons why people get offended by jokes about sensitive subjects. The first is that that person has suffered from something similar to the subject matter of a joke. Let me explain the psychology behind this. When a person goes through some kind of large pain or suffering and receives a trauma, so their body responds with a fight or flight response. And this is something which is their body's safety mechanism of actually staying safe. And that safety mechanism is not only gonna keep them safe from the particular thing which harmed them, but also anything similar. Let me give you a different example just to explain this point. Uh, if a person was attacked by a vicious, untamed dog, so it's very normal for that person afterwards, anytime they see a dog, even one that's very domesticated and very friendly, that they're gonna be afraid of it. And that's, again, one of the ways their body is keeping them safe. We don't necessarily, on a biological level, know the difference between a friendly dog and a vicious dog, especially if a person was severely injured uh, by a vicious dog. So trauma causes a person to overcompensate a bit uh, and stay safe to anything that's even similar to what harmed them. The same thing applies when it comes to humor. It's normal for a person to have a fight or flight response uh, because it just reminds them of their suffering. Even if the intentions of the person saying the joke was clearly not to be aggressive, not to be malicious, uh, didn't even intend on offending anyone, but they were just finding a little bit of comedy and a little bit of irony in a subject that is a little bit uncomfortable and that's very often a very good source of finding humor or to find the subjects that have a lot of tension built around them. Uh, it's usually a place we often find comedy. But even so, a person who has, again, suffered from that subject uh, very often will get a fight or flight response. That's the uh, more psychological way of saying they will get triggered. And they can actually be very offended and very upset and actually wish the person who is saying the joke would actually just stop talking and get off the stage. The second reason why someone gets offended by jokes about a sensitive subject is because they are indoctrinated by this idea that it is the wrong thing to make jokes about a sensitive subject. So this is a completely different idea. Uh, I do think the reason why this sort of ideology even exists is because of the first reason, because people do associate sometimes jokes with things which have really caused them suffering. But you can even find a person who has never suffered at all from the subject of the joke, but just because they have been exposed to people, to the sort of social phenomena of political correctness, uh, therefore they believe that it's the right thing to get offended by humor, and they really think that anyone who says jokes about a sensitive subject is doing the wrong thing, and that will, again, aggravate them and make them feel uh, offended by even something which is just a joke and was not meant to actually hurt anybody. I think it's very frustrating for people who do not get offended by jokes easily. In fact, those who really particularly enjoy quote unquote offensive humor, uh, when they see people getting offended by jokes, because I, I really think it's because they don't understand where they're coming from. Uh, so on the one hand, I would really try to recommend that people who see people get triggered by jokes, not really to judge them, to understand they're coming from somewhere. Uh, either it can be coming from a personal thing or from their surroundings. And let's face it, 
really we all adapt to our surroundings and if there's things that our culture says are inappropriate to do uh, sometimes that will have an emotional effect on us as well on the other hand though those who are easily offended by humor i would also strongly suggest that you try to give people who do not agree with your ideology or people who are not as sensitive to certain subjects as you are to try to be a little bit more tolerant and give them the space uh, to be able to express themselves in the way they want to. Again, I think it's valid that a person gets upset when they hear a joke about something which feels like a sensitive subject to them. On the other hand, though, if a person were to really realize that there is a specific reason why they're being offended by it, not everyone is offended by the subject, it actually has something specifically to do with them. Uh, there actually are ways therapeutically for a person to get to a point where they're actually much stronger and more resilient, and even if they have suffered from a certain subject, uh, that they'll actually be able to tolerate it and not associate that subject uh, with the trauma that they have. The way that a person would do that through therapy is to really understand where their trauma comes from. Try to understand the pain, the suffering, the difficult experience that you are associating with the joke and try to really limit your body's protective measures to that experience alone. So, for example, if a person was harmed by uh, genuine racism, someone who is actually going around hurting people uh, with the idea of racial superiority. So you have to, you know, if a person is afraid of that, that's totally legitimate because you're supposed to stay safe from things which are dangerous and that is a genuine danger. Now, a stand-up comedian standing up on a stage saying a joke that happens to make a reference to, let's say, a racial stereotype, that is not actually putting you in any danger. I know a lot of times people say, well, if people say jokes about something, it normalizes it and therefore that can cause it to be dangerous. And I really think that's a very big mistake. The fact that in Hollywood, for example, in movies, there are a lot of movie scenes that depict murder. No one's going to see the murder in the movie scene uh, and based on that go around murdering people because it's normalized. No one's gonna see a rape scene in a movie and therefore think it's okay to rape. No one is going to hear a stand-up comedian say a joke which acknowledges a racial stereotype, particularly if the whole thing that was funny about the joke is that it was so inappropriate. Most times comedians are making jokes like that. The whole joke is the fact of how bad it is. Uh, and how inappropriate sort of the stereotype is, how much tension is built around it. Jokes that a stand-up comedian says on a stage is not gonna cause people to adopt an ideology that their race is superior to another one. Again, if a person makes a rape joke, uh, people who are hearing that are not gonna just think it's okay to rape people. Obviously, this is only if the joke is made clearly uh, that the person has the self-awareness that the content is something which would be wrong to do. That is how a person is able through therapy to get to a point that they can heal from their trauma and not be triggered uh, by jokes about that subject matter. But I want to sort of talk about one last thing, which is really going to divide people in half. Uh, and that is what happens with a person who has not yet gotten over their trauma. You know what I mean? If a person has a very significant uh, trauma from a difficult experience, it can take many years and a lot of work uh, to really get to a point that the person doesn't suffer from that trauma and a person is able to joke about it. But what if a person hasn't done that yet? So should a joke which therefore causes the person to almost relive that trauma, it sort of reminds them of it, their body actually goes through a physical response uh, in reaction to hearing the joke. So should those words be considered to be harming the listener? This is a really deep philosophical question. Uh, there are those who are going to say that Yes, those words really should consider to be harm, and the difference really could end up being politically, that maybe we should ban, like there are in a lot of countries, uh, ban saying jokes about offensive subjects because you actually are technically harming people with those words. Uh, I'm definitely in the other camp, even though I understand sort of where that idea comes from, I'm definitely in the other camp, that I don't believe the words that a person is saying uh, is actually harming anyone. It is the trauma that the person went through 
that is really the thing that's harming them. Uh, and therefore, I really don't believe, uh, like I see sometimes in the news, that uh, there should be any limitations, particularly by a government, fining people for saying offensive jokes. I really do not consider those, those words being said to anyone would really not harm them unless that person actually has a trauma. It's the same thing if a person, for example, would have a big gaping wound in their arm and they're walking through a crowded place and someone bumps into them uh, and aggravates the wound and you know actually cause them bodily harm. So are you gonna blame the person who bumps into them in a public place? Or are you gonna consider it the responsibility of the person who has the wound uh, to try to avoid public places and, if anything, go to a hospital and try to get yourself fixed uh, before going to a place that is going to endanger you. I, I really consider it exactly the same thing philosophically uh, and politically when it comes to being offended by jokes. If a person has a trauma, you have to either be careful, don't go to a stand-up comedian who you know says offensive humor, or sh certainly should not be finding him uh, for doing something which to most people uh, would not aggravate them, would not cause them to have a fight or flight response just to accommodate one unfortunately sick but traumatized person. Rather, one should be trying to work on themselves so that they can get to a place that they're not gonna be offended by that humor and especially in the meantime while they're working on that, they should not be going uh, and exposing themselves to people who may offend them.